Hello, preschoolers. We are going to do our art project this week using the letter of the week. Does anybody remember what the letter of the week is? Let's make an uppercase. Let's see, it's a big curve down, big curve all the way back up, and a little line. Do we know what letter that is? That is an uppercase Qu, qu, queen, Q, that's an uppercase Q. Let's try our lowercase Q. It's a little curve down, little curve back up. Big line down and don't forget the tail for the lowercase Q. Qu, qu, queen or qu, qu, quarter. Those are our Qs. Today, we are going to do our project with, let's look, is that an uppercase Q or a lowercase? We're going to do it with an uppercase. And let's see what we're going to make. This is what we're going to make. It's a qu, qu, quail. It starts with the letter Q. Let's see, what is a quail? Here it is. Do you have this picture? This is the bird called a quail. It starts with the letter Q. We are going to make a quail with our Q. All right, are you ready? What you will need is this, your, your uppercase Q your blank piece of paper, your circle, your two orange, your orange triangle, and your purple. Now to do this project, you're going to need scissors and a glue stick. Okay, before we start, the first thing Miss Kim always wants you to do is what? Write your name so I know whose beautiful art it is. So I'm going to take something to write with and write Miss Kim. And then I'm going to flip it over because Miss Kim's going to be on the back of my paper. Your name will be on the back of your paper. Okay. Once you write your name, and if you need to pause it so you need, can have time to write your name, that's okay. You can just pause it, write your name, and then push play again. So once you have your name written, you're going to cut out the letter Q. So if you want to pause it while Miss Kim cuts hers out, you can cut yours out. All right, let's cut. I'm going to start right here. We're going to open, shut them, open, shut them. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. I'm going to turn my paper while I'm cutting with this hand so it is easier to cut my lines. And I'm gonna keep turning it. See, I'm gonna keep turning my paper as I cut. Open, shut them, open, shut them. And keep turning them. And we're just gonna cut the outside. We're not gonna cut this inside because that's a that that'd be kind of hard. So today we're just gonna cut the outside. So then I have that little piece, I'm gonna cut that right off. And look at there's my cue. Qua qua quail. Okay. Does your lines have to be perfect? No. What do I want you to do? The only thing I want you to do is try your best. So once I have my cue, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm going to open my glue stick and put glue all over the back of the cue. So let's do that. Uh, 
I made sure I had a ton of glue on my cue so it sticks. And I'm gonna press really hard. Look at, it. it's not coming off. It's glued on nice and tight. Once my cue is glued on, I'm going to find my circle. Can you find your brown circle, the one that matches your cue color? It's like a tan color, huh? So then we're gonna put glue on our circle. All over our circle, okay? Then we're gonna put our circle right up here. Once we're done with that, we're going to find our orange triangle. Find your tri orange triangle and put some glue on there. Oops. And then we're going to put our orange triangle. We're gonna attach it to our circle. Next, for the head, you need his feather. Let's look at our picture. Do you see how his feather comes out? This is his head. This is his feather for his head. So we're gonna add that. So I'm going to put glue on my feather. And you know where I'm gonna put mine? I'm gonna put mine right here because that's what he looks like. See? He has a feather on his head too, just like mine. Then the last thing we need is his feet. See, this is his feet. So I'm going to glue on his feet. I'm gonna put a line of glue on my paper and then just stick the foot on because that's easier for me. Okay, this looks like a pretty good quail. Qua, qua quail but I'm missing one important thing I want to give my quail an eye and I want him to see that he's happy so here's my quail's eye and I'm gonna make him happy and there you go we have a qua qua quail all right, friends, take a picture of your quail and upload it to your journal so I can see all of your wonderful artwork. Have a wonderful day. Bye.